Hi everybody. Um, this is a, a video that has a, a happy ending, but it's one that I want you all to know should you ever encounter what we did. Um, baby black headed kayaks feather much, much further along than regular perch. So uh, hand feeding was not an issue. The breeder that sold me the parrot knew this. Um, and this is what a black feather headed baby cake looks like even at seven weeks coming up uh, with just a little feather sprouted here and then it'll happen really quick. But we had him in a special weaning cage with toys and uh, infrared light that did emit uh, warm, but it did it more in one spot of the, the area, and then there were open cage bars. Well, I came in yesterday morning, uh, everything perfectly normal as it always is, and I found the baby sprout laying almost lifeless on the bottom of her her padded area. And I scooped her up, and uh, the first thing that I would have done with any parrot would be to place a heating pad on my chest and wrap them in it to bring uh, their body temperature up. Uh, but something told me that we were going to need to go to the vet. So we went to Dr. Jim Earhart here in Mesquite, who's been my vet. He's an unaving vet, but He's very well versed in birds. And we rushed in the hospital and he gave her a glucose shot and we allowed in a heating pad and we allowed her heat to get to where it should be. Her heartbeat was only 60 when we got there. Uh, after the glucose and the warmth it jumped back up to 200. And then we hand fed a little bit, and this is how quickly she turned around. What I want you guys to know is that the fragility of birds and the warmth that you keep them at is of the most, utmost importance. Even in experience, hand raising, hand feeding, loving bird owner, with 14 years of experience as myself, um, just took on a bird with not enough feathers. And uh, as big as the temperature, we had a temperature gauge, was it 78? She needed much more. And we think what she did is she uh, moved away from her light uh, that kept her warm and she got cold and that started to shut down her body uh, function. And as you can see, she is perfectly great now. Uh, yesterday was a very hard day in our home. A lot of tears, a lot of fears, a lot of praying. And uh, birds turn around very quickly. Uh, Dr. Earhart explained that uh, when their temperature lowers, everything lowers. And she was dangerously in trouble. Um, and I absolutely would have died if anything had happened to her. Um, so I went out and I researched and purchased well, many different things, one of which is this small terrarium, as you'll see. All you have to do for a very small bird is go to Petsco or PetSmart and get a small terrarium, some Carefresh bedding, uh, you need a thermometer that you can tape on the wall. Right now it's 88 with 34% humidity. And the light that I found that works best is the, well, this is what it looks like. Okay, this is called um, a combo dome. And it is made by Arzilla. Uh, a lot of these things are for reptiles, so you have to be careful on the feet. I mean, on the heat. Um, it's got a fluorescent light for their UV purposes, and it's also got um, a heating light that you can control when you turn the lights out. 
Uh, this is a very, very good light. Uh, as you can see, it has a little bit of everything on the package. But this is what it looks like. You can turn off the halogen light and only have on the blue light, which is the heat light. Now that lamp right there, I also purchased a uh, thing that you can plug in and adjust the temperature, which is very important because these can get very hot. So if you keep this on about a little touch above low, it will give them a nice warm temperature. And then during the day, uh, you can turn on, of course, this bright light, which makes it a little bit hard to see because it's so bright. But it's a round one. And then you place it on top of the cage, as so. And it gives her light and warmth all around. So, I wanted to teach you guys that even the most experienced hand feeder and bird raiser and bird lover can have something so almost tragic happen within her home. Um, so we are in the clear with her and you can see her feathers are sprouting out uh, and life is beautiful again. So I wanted to share with you guys that of all the things that I do right and as much as I spoil my birds, there are times that you can make a mistake that could be fatal. And I hope that somebody learns that even though I have the light in the bedding and I was doing everything that I thought to be right, minus a brooder, that this is what she needed. Um, keep your baby's temperatures warm. Birds are very fragile. And the fragility beneath the wings, this is what your baby looks like without their wings, without their feathers. And it's very hard for them to regulate. So follow my advice. And if you need to, you go and make yourself a homemade brooder. And I can help you in any way. I will go post on the board. And we'll be posting in our newsletter um, what you need to do and about a bird's anatomy and how it works. So this is our beautiful baby Sprouty for the day with her stuffed animal. And she's just going to go to sleep now. So I hope this helps everybody. And say a little prayer for Sprouty. And she's going to grow up to be a beautiful coyote. Say bye Sprouts.